being the first person to create a Zambian anime series, it's it feels surreal. Hi. Listen. We are about to make an industry. <laughs> Creating this anime series specifically for me, it means that I have taken an idea and I've given life to it, you know, because the super as it is, is an idea I had in like the fourth grade. How old was I? I was nine years old. Yeah, this that's... guy, the, that red one there. Yeah, what happened there? <laughs> I I, I've been seeing this, that red guy in everything. <laughs> I only saw the red guy like... He was in this background too, actually. Where? At the bottom. I partnered with Akende Muyumbana, who is a fellow animator to create the super. When he does this, like, I want, like, it to come with, like, all its color, all its swirls. I'm working on that right now, actually. The super is about a supernatural world where everyone is gifted with abilities. The story follows an older brother trying to protect his younger brother from this harsh society. Shit. Okay, so um, so in this scene, he looks behind at Tetsu, and then you have to really sound like super concerned because now you're like, "Yo, Tetsu," and then that's when now you're like, "Yo, can you hear me?" Like you don't want to step too close because he's not himself, but then at the same time, remember, you you just became his big brother from like a long time ago. Tetsu? Tetsu? C can, can you hear me? Starting? Yeah, you guys. I don't want to go back. 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 You're a bit like concerned about what's happening, but you don't want to show it. I think I get it. You got it. Let's okay. go. <laughs> you got it. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's okay. go, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you're good. Let's get it. Mr. Kim, aren't you interested in the lost hybrid? Mr. Kim, what's the deal with this kid anyway? <sighs> from what I heard them say, his parents are elite from type A's and type B's. When I was young, I just loved being an artist. As time went on, it developed into a more realistic and more achievable dream. In this artwork, basically, my headspace when creating this project was just how, how more involved society may be in our, in our personal lives, you know? So this first one, um, it was called Hands of False Correction. You know, all the trends that kids set in school, it's more like you have to be a certain way to matter. And for me, I created this piece because of, you know, voicing that out for the rest of us that aren't the certain way. Being a 20-year-old animator, I'm faced with challenges such as not being respected when you demand certain policies from a client. And in general, you always have to understand when somebody doesn't pay you or pays you late. So with every small job I get, I put whatever I earn into the anime. Do we have a plan for, for the distribution? I guess at the moment it goes with 
basically we're just taking a chance with this. The first episode legit is the chance episode. It's just, we have this product, this is our vision. Yo, we need to do this. We are seeing it bigger than just, just bigger than just us. We're seeing it as a whole industry, a whole network of animators. I am almost at your gate. Okay. I'm here to pick up Olga. We're going pitching. I really thought you would have been like the best person to accompany me to go and release the super into the world, into the corporate world especially. So we gotta go to like different organizations and you know, we'll see how it goes. We are determined to give people an experience that they will walk away with. And the anime culture, it's on a global scale. And already, here we have quite a large untapped audience. We can't wait to watch Super. We <laughs> see. Well, uh, yeah. Whatever I've started here hasn't been easy. You know, it's been hard because sometimes you feel like you're the only person you can rely on financially, mentally, socially. You just have to keep pushing because no one else can see the vision as clear as you do. But my dream is one day for just this one pilot episode to grow into a full-on production. Exactly. When you're watching as a viewer, you just want to see your backgrounds look nice. Uh -huh. That's all. That's... I don't know how you did that with the light. Woo! Yes. So when I left to go pitch around with Olga, we visited the Stoke Nikor cinema manager, and she was actually quite intrigued by what we were talking about. She gave us permission to start pre-selling tickets so that you can use the same ticket money to pay for the venue. <sighs> the child should pay for the sins of the parents. <laughs> Good luck, my dear boy. We would push to have it diversified because end of the day, Zambia has so many people and if we can tap into different languages, different people, it would reach a further crowd, you know? So, yeah. So after the super, Akende and I both agreed that we're gonna take some time, have vacation. We want to learn, we want to master animation. If by chance we get any opportunity to go somewhere to learn from mentors, we would love that because it's now like we want to learn it so that now we can pioneer better for the guys here.